Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'll be showing you how to make some Jamaican ginger bulla. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. And we are back, as I said before, making some Jamaican style bulla. But this one is going to be compact with ginger. If you love ginger, you're going to love this one. Bulla is that of a um, cake that we eat in Jamaica, but it's more of a dense, drier cake. And it's nice and sweet, packed with spices. So without further delay, let's get right into making these bullas. Let's go. All right, so to kickstart the bulla, I have here a list of the ingredients. Quick and easy, not a lot of ingredients. Bulla, the ingredients are similar to that of Easter bun. So if you know Easter bun, you know bulla and Easter bun are similar, right? Which I have a video out on, I think about two Easter bun videos. So let's get right into the bulla. First and foremost, you need some all-purpose flour. People call it counter flour, right? And I have it already sifted, and that is 400 grams, or about three cups, right? Over here, you have to use some nice dark brown sugar, right? And this dark brown sugar is 200 grams, about a cup and a half of sugar. You can do less or more, depending on how sweet you want your bullets to be. Over here, I have some spices. You know you have to use up the spice, the nutmeg and the cinnamon. I'm using a teaspoon of each. So right here, I have half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt. We don't need too much salt. We have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have three ounces of melted butter. Or you can go with um, half cup of butter, right? We have here two ounces of water. The water, two and a half tablespoons of um, molasses. Last but not least, the ginger. And I have here two ounces of ginger, the rooted ginger, the fresh ginger. And we're gonna add this to it. I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to grab my sieve, put my baking powder, baking soda, salt, and spices. And we're just going to sift those. Because you know normally these spices are lumpy. And we don't want that. Yeah, that's from the nutmeg. Alright, give this a quick mix to incorporate all the dry ingredients. And as I said, the flour is already sifted. Quick and easy recipe, you can try it out at home. You get some nice bulla. Push that to the side for a second. The sugar, I'm gonna add to the sugar. Melted butter. The molasses. That molasses give it that color. It's so in the um when you make the what you call that cake again, the bun again, the Easter bun, we use molasses in there. But instead of using the beer or the Guinness, we use water, right? And instead of using brownie, we just depend on the brown sugar and the molasses to give it that natural um, caramel look, right? We're gonna go into the teaspoon of that vanilla and we're just gonna mix that up. Mix that in nicely. So before you start anything like I did, I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Do that before you start measuring out the ingredients, you need a nice hot oven. So get my knife. This has already been washed nice and clean, so I'm gonna use skin on and everything. But I'm just gonna cut the ginger into bite-sized pieces or smaller pieces so that they're easy to blend, all right? Just like that, just chop, rough chop into my blending cup. Oh, you can smell the fresh ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger, feel free to use ginger powder. I'd say a tablespoon of ginger powder or more depending on how much ginger you want your thing to be. Two ounces of water. And we're gonna blend. Beautiful, less than 30 seconds. And then into that sugar mixture, you have to strain it, of course. Ooh, wee! Listen, man. 
And you just squeeze that out. This is the quickest way you can get that done. You can grate it if you don't have a blender and then you add the water and then you squeeze out the excess juice from the ginger. Mix that in. Oh my days. Ginger is at a strong. Ooh. Just mix that out. Dissolve the sugar and everything. It's mixed out to an extent. We're gonna add that into the flour mixture and mix that, making a nice dough. All right, from here now, we're just gonna knead. Knead the dough from here. We don't want the dough to be too dry are too soft. Alright, the dough is coming together nicely. You see that color? Alright, nice soft dough. Some oil on my hand to help me. You need to get this dough nice and um, what do you call it? Smooth. Because if it's not smooth, the bulla is going to come out just like what the dough looks like. So you need to knead that properly. Add a bit more flour, about two tablespoons. Oh my days. Holy. Dust our work surface. All right, so battery died, had to restock. Yes, so we have the rolling pin here and the dough. Just gonna roll that out, nice and flat. See if I can get it as flat as this board or about a little bit thinner. So that's the thing, you want your dough to be nice and smooth because if not, that's how your bulla will look. So not too thin for the bulla now, or not too thick, because we're going to bake these nice and quick, pun intended. Alright. Alright. Get a little bit of flour on here, because we don't want anything to stick, right? It's a light dusting. Of flour. So we're looking at about a centimeter, two centimeters thick. There about. Only thing is not as thick is that edge. Okay, get a bow. So you grab yourself a bow. Go as close to the edge as possible. With the assistance of your knife. Because this bowl is not sharp, right? I'm gonna use my knife to help me cut that out. Awesome. All right. Oh, I can get three out of this, you know. Can get three, man. So I can get three from right there, so you know. The next one, right there, so beautiful. Easy. Beautiful. So you want to get a baking tray. I'll just put some parchment paper that help it not to stick. All right, we don't want to, want to lift this up gently. Some flour on the hand. Again, go under gently, lift that up, place it on the tray, like so, boom. You know when you get the bulla, you see one part look like somebody cutting with a knife at the edge. That's because 
they put the bulla close together all right so they put the bulla like so so it's touching so that's how they do it they put it so it's touching so when you beat the bulla it's almost as if you get that cut feature right there all right there we go there's somewhat on this on a similar thickness level obviously on a machine i do it a hand so it's gonna be imperfect and that's perfectly fine all right we're gonna go in now 350 we're gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes depending on how dry you want your bola right if you don't want too much of a dry bola you want a spongy texture bola you can bake for about 15 minutes or you can add a little bit more baking powder but too much baking powder is not good you're gonna taste that right so you can add a little bit of the baking a little bit more baking soda or bake less and when you bake less so you can go a little bit thicker with the rose depending and get some nice bulla let's go hold on you don't know the thing go you have to grab the phone and get a snap for instagram make sure you follow me on instagram hot underscore chef all right you don't know the thing go what are we making into our oven now as i said for 20 minutes or 25 Starting to smell that bola. Time runs off. Full transparency, I added five more minutes. So in total, 25 minutes. We're gonna cancel that out. See what it looks like. It smells good. Ooh, wee. Ah, oh, God. These are magnificent. Let's get some melted butter. Too much, you know. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Mm. How beautiful that looks. Look at that. Oh my God. How you deal with bola? Broke night one. Wow. See, eh, no. Take a thumbnail. Eat piece of bola. Them <laughs> <laughs> dead. You feel by that? Mm -mm. That is it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ginger, stand up in it. Like foot in a neck. But you know, you know. <laughs> mm -mm. Yo, you know what? No more sugar. You know what? Nothing more. You don't want nothing. Listen, I'm looking at my phone because I'm making an Instagram post right here, right? But. <laughs> and there you have it how to make your very own jamaica ginger bulla here on more stand cooking if you did enjoy this video and you find it useful don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you love my vibe just hit subscribe because there's many more where this came from you see what i say so make sure you subscribe turn on the post notification road to a million thank you very much for watching i say until next time Safe travel upon the gravel and go and big up on yourself. Just sorry, so I can't cut in a disc because you know fully fit. Mm.